Alright guys, today we're doing another Nintendo Switch video uh, because as all you guys probably do, I love the Nintendo Switch here and today I wanted to talk about games that are six players or more on the Nintendo Switch. Now, there's a, a, you know, a lot of games out there for four players on the Nintendo Switch. That's why I make those top local multiplayer videos that I already did last week for 2021. I've done it for 2020, 2019, 2018. And you can check those links down below if you want to see you know, the top local multiplayer games on the Nintendo Switch for four players. Now, in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take it up a notch and do six plus players because there's actually quite a few games out there on the Switch that let you play with six, seven, eight players, one of them even 20 players that you can actually play on your Switch to be able to have some fun with your friends out there. If you have more than just four players in your house, like I do sometimes, and you have six, seven, or eight, there's a lot of good multiplayer games on the Switch, and we're going to go ahead and talk about those today. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech. Alright guys, so starting on this list at number 25 is Just Dance 2022, or just, just Dance the series in general. So this one is for six players, and this one is cool because you can either use the Joy-Cons, and everyone can just kind of hold the Joy-Cons uh, and kind of play with those, or you can actually use your phone. So if you don't have enough Joy-Cons, you can actually just use your phones, and that will work as controller as well. You just download the app, and you're good to go. And this is a long-running series. We all know what this is. If you guys are fans of dancing games and stuff where you're kind of mimicking the dance moves that the choreographer is showing you on the screen, and everyone's just trying to get the most amount of points, and obviously they do yearly franchises of this where there's new tracks every year. Uh, you know, they usually include over 40 tracks each year, and that's what they kind of do with each sub subsequent version that they do. And this game's a lot of fun with six players. You know, I, I actually just had my family over recently with this one, and it was a ton of fun. So check this one out, Just Dance, coming in at number 25. The next one coming in here at number 24 is Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, there's something in Luigi's Mansion that's called Screen Park, as you guys are seeing here, that you can play with the full eight players on your Nintendo Switch, and it's a ton of fun. There's three different mini games. They're pretty fleshed out, and they're a ton of fun to play. It wouldn't be the main reason why I pick up Luigi's Mansion, of course, but the game itself is already fantastic. This is just a bonus on top of it that after you finish a story campaign, you can go ahead and you know play these Screen Park eight-player games. And, of course, this also has... Uh, a more mini games for four players but these three specific ones in screen park are go up to eight players which is a lot of fun and you can have a lot of fun with this one with eight players so check this one out luigi's mansion three the next one on this list is of course a game that probably doesn't need any introduction a game that's been around for a while and that's of course the worm series worms wmd so this game here is, you know, uh, like I said, a long running series. This one plays up to six players on the Nintendo Switch. And this one's also a ton of fun to play with players. Uh, you know, it's a strategy based game. Everyone takes a move. Uh, you use your weapons to try and kill each other off the map one at a time. And, and you're just trying to blast each other off the map and kind of be the last person standing. The variety comes in the, in the maps, the, the carnage of all the different weapons that are in there, all the crazy things that happens while you're playing a match. So. Um, this one's been around for a long time, but it's still a really, really good game on the Switch for six players, and it's a ton of fun. Check this one out. The next one here coming in at number 22 is a favorite of mine, and it's also for six players. And this is called Stick Bolt, so this is basically a dodgeball game. Uh, basically, everyone gets a character, and everyone's trying to collect dodgeballs in the, in the environment and basically just trying to hit each other. The environment, of course, throws hazards at you with the different maps that are in the game that give it variety. Sometimes you'll have cars running after you. Sometimes you're, you're you know, at a school. Sometimes you're just in, in these crazy, wacky environments, and you're just, you know, playing dodgeball against each other, throwing these, these balls at each other, trying to knock each other out. And it's just a ton of fun with six players, and it's a really fun time on the Switch to, to get some volleyball action going. And, uh, yeah, this one's really fun, so check this one out the next one here coming in at number 21 is another six player game and this one is kind of right up my alley especially because i love like games like unworld tournament and stuff and this kind of gives you that feel this is like in a, in a 2d you know action shooter basically arena shooter where you're playing on a variety of different maps and, and you know you have all these variety of weapons and you're just trying to be the last person standing there. but there's a lot of different modes in this one there's deathmatch team deathmatch you know stuff like that and a lot of good variety in the modes. The graphics are fantastic. The colors really pop off the screen. And it's just a really fun time with six players. There's a lot of different, you know, a variety of the stuff that you can play in here with the different modes and different maps and different weapons. So it's if you like games like Team Deathmatch and stuff in Underworld Tournament and stuff, this gives you kind of the same feel uh, in a 2D space on the Nintendo Switch. And it's a ton of fun. So check this one out, guys. Crash Knots coming in at number 21. 
The next one on this list is probably a game that a lot of people have not heard of, and it is called Shipped. Basically, everyone has a ship that they're controlling, and this gives you a variety of different modes as well. Uh, you can shoot each other with cannons, and this plays up to eight players, and you can shoot each other with cannons depending on which direction you're facing. Sometimes you're doing races against each other, sometimes it's the last person standing by shooting and stuff, and the maps are all always rotating because, as you can see with the islands there, they're always chasing or changing in the game, so not one game will ever be the same as the other. And there's just a, a ton of wackiness in here with the way that the boat controls. It's a lot of fun shooting each other, being the last person standing, and then... Sometimes it comes down to who's on the last person on the screen too. So it's a ton of fun. Check this one out as well. This next one on the list is a really, really good party game on the Nintendo Switch. It actually appeared on my 2021 top four player list as well when I did this last week. And this is Boomerang Foo. Uh, basically, everyone is kind of like a, a, a an, an item of food, like a banana or a piece of toast and stuff. And you all have boomerangs in your hand and you're basically throwing these boomer boomerangs around trying to be the last person standing. But the boomerang is cool because it, you know, deflects off of things and, um, you know, has these wacky ways of how it kills everyone uh, being the last person standing. And the, and the maps are all well designed. The characters are all well designed. Uh, a lot of different maps in the game, a lot of different modes in the game to play. And it, it just adds a really different flavor to these types of game on the Switch just because of the zaniness of the character, the zaniness of that boomerang and how it goes around. And, and you can get really good at it with the way you curve this thing and go around different bends in different areas. And it's just a ton of fun, guys. Boomerang Foo. Awesome game. So this next one on the list literally just came out here recently, uh, literally a couple days ago, but it probably doesn't need an introduction because a lot of us have been playing this in other consoles for a long time, but I'm happy it's finally on the Switch, and that is Gang Beast. This one plays up to eight players on the Switch, and it's just a ton of fun. And, you know, of course, with the with the zany phys physics that this game has, again, you're just trying to hit each other off the map, uh, trying to be the last person standing, but the physics is what really sets this one apart. You know, you can hang off each other, hang off the sides of buildings, uh, you know, the way that, just the way that the physics play in this game it, it just provides a very different experience than all the other games on this list uh, and, and gang beast has been around for a while so i'm sure you guys have heard of this game already but i'm happy that just just released this week on the nintendo switch and now we have another great fantastic eight player multiplayer game on the switch gang beast guys go ahead and check this one out this next one on the list is actually rather interesting because this is the one that i was referring to in the intro that plays up to 20 players and that's drink more gulp and basically what this is is you have these this character as you're seeing here and you control his arms and legs like that the way that, way that he's flapping around and but the way that makes this game interesting is the multiplayer is one at a time so you're basically playing 20 players because each player grabs a joy-con one at a time they try to compete the event as fast as possible and then you rotate the joy-con to the next person and this game is basically described as like you know when you're playing these mini games it kind of reminds me of like track and field kind of events uh where you're sometimes running you're sometimes throwing things or you're going through these zany events you're trying to go as fast as possible and this game is a ton of fun let me tell you with 20 players there's not another uh, more fun game that you can play with a group of 20 people that is just zany fun watching these characters you know with their weird physics and how players are controlling their their legs and stuff trying to get through these levels is just crazy crazy fun and just hilarious to watch so guys this is definitely not once to be missed drink more gulp is a fantastic party game with up to 20 players and really easy to play because you only need one joy con check this one out for a ton of fun the next one on this list that's also for A players as well is called Baron Fur is Gonna Fly. So this one is basically multiplayer dog fights in the air for up to eight players. So you guys kind of have an idea already what this game is gonna play like. Everyone has an airplane that they basically have playing eight players and you're up in the air and you're just doing dog fighting, trying to, you know, kill each other off the map and, and smash into each other, use your weapons. Uh, so you can be the last person standing on the map. Again, this one's a ton of fun. Uh, feels different than all the rest of them, obviously because you're flying an airplane and stuff. And it's just a ton of fun. There's a lot of variety in the maps, a lot of variety in the weapons and stuff like that. And this is not one to be missed, especially if you're into dogfighting games. This is a ton of fun with eight players, guys. Check this one out. Baron Fur is gonna fly. This next one on the list is another one of my favorites that I don't think gets talked about a lot either, and that's Mage Quit. So basically, everybody is a wizard, and what's cool about this is this is for eight players, and when the match starts, everyone gets to draft, you know, different power-ups. And as the match goes on, you're drafting more and more powers, getting more abilities for your character, and you're basically just having an old wizard duel where everyone's trying to use their special abilities, special spells that they have, and you're casting these spells against each other, trying to be the last person standing. And, and there's just a lot of fun to be had, especially if you're into wizard games on this one, guys. Check this one out, Mage Quit. The next one on this list here is called Party Golf. Party Golf is for eight players as well. And basically what you're doing here is everyone's trying to frantically hit their ball, uh, you know, in golf and, and basically trying to get it into the hole 
for as fast as possible. So everyone's starting and the maps are all insane. There's a lot of different variety in the maps, like a crazy amount of variety. Uh, you never play the, the same hole twice for a long time. And you're just hitting these balls. You're trying to go as fast as possible to try to get the ball into the hole. And you know the faster you can get in there with a lower amount of pars the better and the the levels are all procedurally generated so you like i said you're never really going to play the, the the game twice and there's a like a crazy amount of modes in this game as you guys are seeing there with over 100 different combinations and how you play this so there's a ton of variety in this one probably more than any other game out there especially if you're a golf fan so check this one out party golf on the nintendo switch the next one on this list here is called Cluster Puck 99. So this is also for eight players. And this is one that kind of missed my radar and I just got into recently. And I'm a huge, huge fan of this one because it kind of reminds me of air hockey, but taken to the very next level. Basically a, a ton of variety of maps, of course, and the way that they're designed. And there's a goal on one side and a goal on the other. Everyone's on teams and you're trying to hit these pucks into the actual goal. And as you're playing these courses, sometimes the courses will have bouncy things that kind of push you to the other side. Uh, you can just play you know crazy variety of courses you could just do a very simple course as well where there's just a goal on the left and goal on the right and you're just trying to bash each other and try to get the puck into the other side of the goal you can shoot it you can throw it in there you could you can move it in there um you know like i said th this one's a ton of fun for a players uh you know 4v4 online matches or local multiplayer matches and you'll have a ton of fun with this one especially if you guys are air hockey fans like me this one's great cluster puck 99 this next one on the list is called 12 Orbits. And this one's really cool because basically what happens is everyone gets a different color uh, thing that they're moving here on the screen. And you're trying to hit the white balls that are showing up on the map to become your color. And then if somebody else runs into one of your colors, then that basically means that they die and they're off the map. There's a, ver a, a few variety of modes here. Uh, this can play up to 12 players actually, which is really interesting. Um, so this one's a ton of fun. There's versus, there's teams, there's a lot of modifiers in the game and stuff like that. And this one's just a ton of fun, you know, to be the last person standing. There's a good variety of maps on how it works. And these, uh, you know, ships or little things that you're actually moving around the map just gets really insane with the map being filled with 12 players and balls being all different colors and you're trying not to hit them. It's just a crazy multiplayer frenetic mess there. So definitely check this one out, guys. This one's called 12 Orbits on the Nintendo Switch. This next one on the list is just a game that's just a ton of fun. And again, another game for A players. And this is called Apaka Ball All-Stars. So this is basically soccer by using camels. Yes, by using these camels. And you're basically hitting the ball and trying to score into the opposing goal. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to be able to play this with a bunch of different players. There's obviously wackiness in this game. It's not straight up soccer. You know, the balls will be, you know, dice and, and beach balls and stuff like that. You're playing in a variety of different locales. And the physics are, of course, crazy and fun. And being able to, you know, block the goals and, and play as a goalie and stuff and kind of dive in and hit these balls out of the way. It's just crazy zany fun, especially if you guys are fans of soccer games like this. Uh, this is one of my favorite local multiplayer games to play with a ton of people around the couch because it's just fun. That, that's basically all there is to it. You don't know how much fun you're going to have until you're actually playing this game. And, and everything is well designed, works really well on the Nintendo Switch, and it's just fun. So check this one out, guys, on the Nintendo Switch. The next one on this list here is called Pico Park. So Pico Park is an eight player multiplayer game and you're basically, it's, it's kind of a cooperative game. You're basically trying to solve these action puzzles and you're going through all these different puzzles and you have to try and complete them together. So this is going to drive people insane. So when you're playing with eight players, uh, you have to solve these puzzles and you have to work together. You're screaming at each other. Hey, you move right, a little bit to the right. You move a little bit to the left. And, and the puzzles ramp up, of course, and there's a ton of different puzzles in the game to play. And they get harder and harder and then the, the craziness happens in the game and you're yelling at each other basically all you're doing is you need to collect a key in each level uh, but to get to the key there's different things you might have to do in each level and you need to work together to bounce off each other's heads like you know position yourself in a certain part of the level to be able to collect everything so it's just a, a crazy party game especially with eight players it adds a ton of fun and if you're into puzzle type games like this and, and you want to play with eight players this is definitely the best one out there if you want to yell at your friends to try and complete these puzzles together this is definitely the game for you it's a ton of fun and uh, definitely will drive some friends through the wall uh, and it's going to be something you guys remember so pico park on the nintendo switch the next one on this list is just a really fun sports game so basically there's three a variety of different sports you can play them on teams you can play them you know any way you want and there's volleyball there's wrestling um, you know, there's uh, fencing and stuff and you're basically going against each other, you know, up to 4v4 and it, it's just crazy fun. Like the graphic style is fantastic. Uh, it works really well and the volleyball in here is so much fun. The wrestling is a lot of fun and 
it's just a really, really good time. I love the flashy art style that's in the game. I love how the how fast the movement is. I love the like the two on two there. Uh, the fencing is a lot of fun as well. Uh, it, it's just a fantastic party game for eight players, guys. Especially if you like this art style and you like sports mini games like this. Not one to be missed here. This is Wrestle Dunk. The next one here is another one for my golf fans here, but this one's a little bit more uh, normal compared to the, the party golf we talked about earlier. And this is also for eight players. And here, uh, you know, you're playing through a variety of courses and each person's taking a turn and you're trying to, of course, get it into the hole. But what comes, what makes this game a lot of fun is of course the nature of how the courses are designed. These are not your normal golf courses. There's a lot of explosions happening, a lot of different ways that you can complete these holes. And it just adds a ton of fun and variety to be able to play these games with each other. And, um, you know, if you're a golf fan, this is definitely the probably the best golf game that you can play in local multiplayer on the Switch. It's a ton of fun, guys. Check this one out on the Nintendo Switch. This next one has been around for a really long time, uh, but if it's right at home on the Nintendo Switch, and that's Runbow. So basically, this is a game where you're kind of just racing against each other, so you're not the last person, uh, you know, standing at the edge of the screen. Uh, it's up to eight players as well. And you're racing, uh, going and doing these side-scrolling things, like trying to race through the levels to not be left behind and be the last person standing on the level. You can, you know, hit each other as you're going through the level. Uh, the, the, the courses are insane. Uh, you know, there's over 140 different levels in here, so there's a crazy ton of variety. Definitely one of the most fun you can have in multiplayer games on the Nintendo Switch, uh, and a lot of different levels to have, so check this one out, guys. This next one here is actually a sequel that just recently came out on the Switch to one of my favorite local multiplayer games, and that is Night Squad 2. This one is... Uh, the crazy the amount of content that's in this game especially now with the sequel here everyone's a knight basically everyone picks a different color and you're playing all of these different modes there's a good variety of modes there's soccer there's a team deathmatch deathmatch um you know last man standing um you know control uh collecting crowns and stuff like that and and the variety in the actual weapons is insane too and it just flows so so well it's a it's a crazy fun multiplayer game there's a ton of modifiers you know you can play every man for himself or you can play on teams uh, and it looks fantastic and it's just a ton of fun uh, you're not going to find a game that's more feature packed than this for local multiplayer it's really really good guys check this one out night squad 2 on the nintendo switch this next one on the list, I'm sure, does not need any introduction because it's been around for a long, long time. This now being Party Pack 8, and that is the Jackbox series. So the Jackbox series is awesome because you don't even need Joy-Cons or anything. You can actually, everyone just plays with their phones or their, or their tablets or iPads or whatever they may have. And everyone can get into here. You just go on the browser, no app needed, and you just go in here. And all of these games, you know, since Jackbox first started, I look forward to these yearly releases all the time. Uh, you know, there's always at least a couple of games in each pack that are awesome. Not every single game is always a hit, but a lot of them are, and they're a ton of fun to play, and everyone's going to come out with their favorites. Each one usually has four to five different mini games, and this being Party Pack 8, you know, if you go back and you get some of the other ones, because they're still just as good, uh, you know, don't just get, oh, Jar Jackbox Party Pack 8 just came out, so I'm just going to get that one, you know, go back, play the first, the second, and the third, and the fourth, because there are so many different mini games in each, and they each have their own standouts, like, you know, the ones that come to my mind already is uh, Trivia Murder Party is fantastic and that's from an earlier one you know there's a ton of good variety here guys so jackbox the series on the switch is definitely not one to be missed the next one here is a game that's been a long running series as well and one of my favorites of all time and that is super bomberman r on the nintendo switch another one that you can play with eight players and we all know what the bomberman series is like you basically have a giant map everyone's running around the map trying to you know place bombs around each other trying to be the last person standing a bunch of different power-ups to collect of course as you're running around the map a lot of variety in the maps themselves and you know it's just a really fun time this is a classic game that's been around you know from the early days of like the genesis and the saturn and stuff and now we have a version on the nintendo switch and it's just a ton of fun to play this game with eight players with all the variety that there is and they did a really good job of bringing this over to the switch so i'm really happy that this is on here and we can now play bomberman on the switch so check this one out guys super bomberman r this next one on the list of course being number three is one of my favorite all-time games of local multiplayer in general and this is color clean black with eight players this game becomes so so good if you can get eight players to play this game in a household this is probably the best game you could play with eight players on the switch uh, what this game is is basically there's two teams there's a and basically there's a queen on each team and the queen is basically the, the main person there's three different ways to actually win in this game you can either kill the queen of the opposing team you can collect berries as the workers and you know collect 12 berries and put them on your side or you can also 
grab these, uh, grab the um, snail that's at the bottom and kind of move them and race them over to the other side. So there's three different ways that you can win. Everyone's frantically trying to do what they can to get that particular ha thing to happen for their side. The queen's trying to protect everyone, kill the people who are trying to do this on the opposing team, and it's just a frantic amount of multiplayer fun. This is actually an arcade game that used to be out in the arcades, and they brought it over to the consoles. And this is one of the best multiplayer games you can play with eight players, uh, bar none. And the fact that now you can play it on the Switch is just awesome. So don't miss this one if you guys have eight players in your household. This next one on the list is a game that I have had so much fun with ever since it released on the Ouya days, if you guys remember that. And that is Towerfall. This one got upgraded on the Nintendo Switch to be an exclusive six-player version. All the other versions of this game are four players on the Switch and actually turned into six. And that is why it's made this list. This game is fantastic. Uh, if you guys are fans of, you know, being the last person standing and stuff, it, basically everyone starts with, you know, uh, arrows that you're shooting at each other to try and be the last person standing trying to kill each other. You know, as you get good at this game, you can really move these arrows and, and bend them around corners and stuff. A lot of variety here on the, on the item pickups, a lot of variety in the maps as well. Uh, you know, with six players, it's the most frantic fun you can have with six players on the switch and it, it, it's just so so good i'm glad they brought this game to the switch it's one of my favorite local multiplayer games of all time for four players and made the sixth list because of the fact that it's now six players as well so so good uh, i can't believe that it's you know i remember this game playing on the ouya and uh you know it's been ported over to a bunch of different consoles but now the switch is my favorite way to play it because of the six player mode and the last one here coming in at number one should probably not surprise anybody here and that is super smash brothers ultimate so they added the eight player madness multiplayer mode as you guys are seeing here where everyone gets to be their own favorite character and everyone's just trying to kill each other off the map i don't think this game needs like you know any more development from me we all know and love super smash brothers and it's the best multiplayer game that you can play on your switch with eight players uh bar none just because of the variety of the cast members everyone has to have a favorite on here everyone recognizes the characters the variety in the actual maps that there are for this eight player multiplayer mode the items that are coming here you know it, it's just the best party game that you can play on the switch especially with the properties that are in here as a character so of course don't miss this one guys on the nintendo switch super smash brothers ultimate all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that list of my top 25 games on the nintendo switch for six to eight players there's obviously more games that could have been on this list so if you guys know of games that you guys love playing with six seven or eight players that i may have missed Go ahead and put that in the description below so I can check those games out and, and we can kind of share more multiplayer games for the Switch for everyone to check out. So leave your favorites down below. If you guys have any questions about any of the games you guys have seen here today, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.